Hello everyone, this is Sean C. Harrison, Jamaican singer, songwriter, poet, general writer, who hails from the parish of St. Thomas, nestled in the East. I would like to read a poem for you that I wrote some years ago in the Jamaican language, or using Jamaican Creole or Jamaican Patois or dialect, that has been written in the style and spirit of Miss Lou, or Mrs. Louise Bennett Coverley, our very own beloved Jamaican cultural icon, who was in very large part responsible for the dissemination of knowledge throughout the world of the Jamaican way of life and the Jamaican culture in general. We thank her for her efforts through the years, and she has been emblazoned in so many minds and in history for her contributions to literary arts and performing arts in Jamaica. Today, I am proud to say this poem, My Dear Sister Sandy, is to be included in a commemorative anthology compiled and written in her honor that is entitled 100 Plus Voices for Miss Lou to be published very soon later this year by the UA Press at Mona at the University of the West Indies. I am proud to be a part of it and I am sure that all other contributors of essays, poems, reflections and tributes to this sterling collection are proud to be a part and honored to be associated with this wonderful name, Miss Lou. The poem entitled My Dear Sister Sandy, which I will recite soon, is a play upon two things. The fact that a hurricane visited the island some years ago named Sandy and my sister biological sister who now resides abroad, who we have affectionately called Sandy through the years. It is written, as I said, in the style of Miss Lou because it comes in the form of a letter written and it's a hilarious account of the time, you know, when this hurricane brought a scourge and a plague of mosquitoes upon us. Please enjoy as you listen, share, and when the book hits the shelves, be sure you get your copy of this sterling smorgasbord of creative work celebrating the life and work of Miss Lou. My dear Sister Sandy, my dear Sister Sandy, what a piece of cross is you come and left by me. When these few lines reaches you, me hope you is in the best of health. But me can't say the same for some way who then get the dung here belt. No, me never know you to be that kind of person. Before you come, yes, we did have them. But now the mosquito problem worsen. I tell you, situation never nice at all. You can imagine how them delicate or something make big man have to run and ball. After your visit, me and my co-workers are talking about the scenes around the community. How for a moment where I wonder if it was some kind of big burnt night party. Whole heap of everlasting bonfire with people a wave tree branch and smoke pan like them was welcoming the Messiah. It was not more than them trying to keep the plague at bay. But them the bite up bite up the whole of we can't see him God way. I tell you, not even the good, good reverend them no spear. No, sir. They must get they just never care. She come out of the Sunday figure at church. And when they swoop down Panar, she almost have been running back. In her own words, she says, Sean, it was a personal attack. She said she reminded the Lord one day that in the good book, him did say he would make the plagues of Egypt come up on him people. But we don't know if he never remind her back say mosquito wasn't one of them. Oh, she could have forgot that and she a big, big reverend. Anyway, thanks be when the government step in and launch a hard out campaign. Things was never really quite the same. 
has blessed them hard after the mosquito man them come them take them foot in at them hand and most of the little wretch them have to run but why the makita me hear one of them turn round and say he who bites and runs away lives to bite another day but me hear you know say where them at our boat was nothing but fat for a mosquito lifespan is very short who could afford repellent never really feel the pinch I do it more feel like a shop. You couldn't tell which was which. Me was so glad me never have a shot myself no more box. Or there me I dress up in a long sleeve shirt and old time baby socks. Or me did swear say kill me dead me wasn't going to rest. But anyway he there I did have to find the nest. My sister, finally I am making an appeal. The cards are on the table so let's make a deal. If you're coming back, which you might, but of course under another name. Do you say right now you don't have no more travel plans all the same? Just carry a little rain and some cool breeze for we in your hands. If at that no more you bring from foreign for we, we will take you as we guess. But please, please, next time not carry those striking longmouth pests. Take care for now, Sunday, and may God. Yours truly. Your little brother Sean. P.S. From I was born, me dying trial nobody ever see. One of the crosses not just bite me. Thank you.